Okay, so today I'll be making my buttercream frosting. I have been requested this quite a bit um, just because it looks fluffy and it's very white. Um, I've gotten comments from other bakers that my buttercream looks tend to be whiter than theirs and how do I do it? I don't actually add any food colouring to my buttercream so it's all natural as much as possible and unless there needs to be any colour changes otherwise I only actually use three ingredients okay so ingredients we only need three for this recipe so basically we're starting with butter this needs to be a high quality butter it's highly recommended and the second one is icing sugar so the most important thing is just make sure you buy the right sugar it needs to be powdered sugar it can be any brand so buy the cheaper one third one chocolate it needs to be cooking chocolate and you can buy either white chocolate milk chocolate or dark chocolate I'm using white chocolate here step one is mixing your butter and your ice and sugar together so one batch means that you have one cup of butter to three cups of ice and sugar and I am making seven batches so I'm basically times in this by seven and so because just because I can fit seven batches at max into my mixing bowl so whatever the size of your bowl will determine how much you can make in one go now guys when you start off just make sure that you run the is it run when we turn the speed at a low level with the mixture because you don't want the powder to go all over your face so just take it slow at the start Okay, now one of the biggest tips is to make sure that you stop the mixture and scrape down the sides of the butter uh, sides of the bowl so that all the buttercream mixes. Okay, so now it's the time to whip it up like. Now you can see the mixture is turning lighter in shade but the next step is the secret that will make the buttercream like pure white, almost pure white. So I'm just going to show you guys what 2 minutes of microwave looks like. So this is after 20, I mean 2 minutes. 2 minutes in the microwave in 30 second intervals so you can see it's still not melted enough I definitely need I would say close to another minute ok I was wrong I only need another 30 seconds there's still a little bit of lumps but as long as I just mix for maybe another 30 seconds it'll get smooth and everything will melt down so only needed two and a half minutes in total so which means you need five 30 second intervals okay so now I'm only gonna add half of this and then quickly whip it up quickly yes okay half right in the middle and then go Add the rest of it. Now you need to whip this up really well. I would say roughly 10 minutes. I usually take about 10 to 15 ish minutes to be making my buttercream. And, but that's because I always make seven batches of the buttercream but if you're making maybe one batch or two batch, batches you don't need that long but the longer you whip the fluffier and the whiter the buttercream becomes I'm using some of my old clips that I had for Instagram 
on um you can follow me on instagram so i'm using some of my old clips that i had previously of some of my cakes where i used this exact buttercream recipe but the first video is by using dark chocolate so instead of adding the white chocolate you can replace that with dark chocolate but buttons and all I'm doing is did the same steps and then just decorating this chocolate cake with the buttercream This mini mini pistachio sponge cake is frosted with lavender buttercream so basically for lavender buttercream I'm using lavender buds and I grind it really really fine so it's like a powder form and then just mix it into the incorporate it really well into the buttercream and that gives you a really nice very strong scent of the lavender and the taste but to get the khala, you definitely need to add the right food coloring. So make sure you buy the lavender shade for the food coloring.